What is up, gentlemen? And Ikea31 here. Another installment of Playbook Rankings. Here's the current rankings. Hope it's not too hard to read. But we're on the Dolphins. To the current rankings here. And where will the Dolphins uh, check in? This was... How can I put this? This was pleasantly surprising. Let's put it that way. Um... Last year's Dolphins playbook was a complete mess, and I had some concerns going into this one for a couple of reasons. As Adam Humphreys takes the shallow cross and goes all the way to the house. If you want a very good budget slot wide receiver, give Adam Humphreys a look. He's a tough little stinker. He's small, but he's he's solid. Only 28 cap. But anywho, my concern with this playbook is that it was like last year's to the letter. Anytime you have one of these um, hybrid spread option, college style spread option playbooks, you have a recipe for disaster. Now this playbook does still have that um, college style um, spread option feel to it, along with a mix of the uh, quote unquote pro style stuff. But it's not as... The problem of, of last year's playbook is that it had too much of the useless stuff of the uh, spread option variety and not enough of the useful pro-style stuff. This one is not quite skewed towards the spread option concepts. It's got some very solid stuff in it. Like here I'm in gun doubles and I can dial up a little smash here. Now... This guy is doing a lot of the dollar cross man that you see, and another concern that I had was that this playbook wouldn't have enough answers for it, and I didn't really have much to go to, so I just run there, but the gun doubles is pretty solid. I mean, gun doubles again, and again I'm motioning to, um, one, pick up that, um, open defender, and also if he's cross manning to mess up his cross man assignments. But what I liked about the playbook is that you have more fallback options if the spread option stuff is not working. As opposed to the Niners playbook where you're trapped. If you run into those games where you can't get the uh, zone read to work, you can't run inside zone, the orbit screen game is kind of hit and miss, you're pretty much trapped. At least with this one, if that stuff isn't working, you have fallbacks. You have um, a better drop-back passing game with traditional um, spread West Coast concepts and some vertical concepts. And you also have an under-center game, as opposed to the Niners playbook, where that's pretty much non-existent. You have some pistol, you have some eye, and some single back. Again, I'm in this gun double set here. I love this double post play. You've got a double post on one side. The only quibble I had with it is I wish that... I should have thrown it right there. But I threw it a little bit late. But I love that double post play. He bailed out toward the wide side of the field. You have a smash concept on the left side. And you know that post concept is, is um, spread out pretty nicely. So that a user can't cover both levels. Again, I'm going in motion here. I'm running a play action read. And I hot rod this to a slant. Boom. You got a double post concept there. And with that slant in motion, or motion to that slant, it makes it hard to key on who's running what and at what depth. This gun bunch open, you see this in the Niners playbook and with these other spread hybrid playbooks, it's pretty neat set. It's basically a more spread version of Gun Bunch. You have your zone read there. I think I check out of it. And you have this trail concept here, wide trail concept. You also have a Z spot. Again, I'm doing some hot routing. I get caught there. Ugh. Good God. These bags and their lack of reliability and pass protection. But... Overall, it's a pretty solid formation. Gun spread is where I ran that um, shallow cross. 
Same thing, just very solid. Flanker dig here is nice. He's bringing the same blitz again. Just in case he's cross banding out of it, I'm going to motion Humphreys over here to create trips. Get a little clear out going. I'm telling you, Humphreys is a tough little stinker. So he's doing all that cross manning and slant zone twoing, and we're seven for seven passing. You got the corner strike there as well. And again, because he's mixing in that slant uh, two and cross man stuff, I got to be creative here. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I'm not adding Humphreys to a clear out. And here I throw it late. I should have thrown it earlier. That's just a bad mistake on my part. But you get the idea. I was trying to run some of the guys down the seam and hit more on the slant underneath it. I just threw it a little bit late. These flanker screens. Every now and then with these flanker screens, you get those guys going out and they don't block anybody and you're trapped. That's what happened there. AW, you got to fix those. Again, he's cross manning. I always wanted to see what would happen if you move the um, receiver running the seat out to one side and motion him over to create trips. You get a post route. I had a guy open in the flat, but on fourth and eight, that's tough to go to. So um, I tried to hit Henry, who um, breaks for the middle of the field and he drops the ball. That's one of the problems with Derek Henry. His hands aren't very reliable. So we're back on offense. We're back in gun doubles. Gun doubles, wide trips. Um, and that spread shotgun bunch set, that that wide bunch set, is what I primarily based out of uh, this playbook. Here we run a little mesh concept at Jackie Doyle, and he gets some yak yardage. Very strong gun double set. Here's wide trips. You got the wide trail, the four verse, the draw. I don't think I run into stock. Yeah, he's banning up a guy on Herman Moore. So I try to hit Jackie Doyle here on the out route there. This wing trip set is okay. You have, though, swing series there, as I like to call it. The um, orbit motion screen to... Derek Henry, along with a motion Z spot. He's late getting over there. Got a nice little convoy. I find to keep guys honest. You got you to gotta run all of them. You got to run the uh, motion Z spot, the motion uh, switch concept. It's an okay set. You got those plays that are useful as well as the double posts. A lot of C routes in this playbook, too. Motioning to two by two. Get the flanker dig concept there. I could have gone to X down to seam. A mystery by then. We're in that wing uh, trip set now. Trying to dial up a double post. We're going to hot route Doyle to a drag in case we need to have the ball get out there quick. And we go to Henry on that little check down route there, which is very useful. We're back into that um, bunch spread. Gonna run the ball here, pick up that end man in the line of scrimmage. Humphreys can block, and Derrick Henry goes into beast mode here. I'm telling you, Adam Humphreys, he can block, he can catch the ball over the middle, and he's quicker than you think. Very useful little player. I really like him. Now we're in straight trips. Trips tight end ISO. And he's in that um, slant two look again. Make sure we're protected. We'll go down to seam, and that time Humphreys does not hang on. That's unfortunate. Back into gun doubles again. You know, gun doubles is the is the home base, so to speak. Cross banning, he's got the box weak. Humphreys is going to be in motion. Convoy time. That rub wheel play, again, it's got good intentions, but the game mechanics just does not 
make it very useful. There's no such thing as rub or picks in Madden, so that concept is borderline useless. So I change it to a slant wheel combo. And, you know, it's one of those things where a lot of these plays are... I should have, that should have been a catch. But a lot of these plays aren't necessarily badly designed. There's plenty that are, but a lot of them would be useful if the way the game was played didn't allow people to get away with uh, these baseline um, defenses that still allow them to cover sideline to sideline. That really is something that needs to be fixed. I have spoken to Clinton Rex about that um, repeatedly because it really limits what you can call and what works. Which is why every year people tend to gravitate in the competitive scene to a small handful of stuff that generally always works and is hard to stop. So a post motion to trips, trying to create some clear outs here. Success. Humphrey has come down with it in traffic. Still in Wayne Trips Dolphins Trio. I really want to hit this double post, but I don't think I'll be able to. I'm trying I'm trying to find ways to get it off. And I finally do. I run Doyle down the seam. And for whatever reason he chases the backside. Gun trips offset. That fake wide receiver screen wheel again. Good intentions, but borderline useless. So we're just going to run the ball here. Ran the ball very well this game, mainly because he kept on giving me a light box. The thing against Dollar Cross man is that you can't force it. You gotta um, take what they leave open, and if they're going to let you run the ball, run it come out and mesh. I'm going to motion Doyle over. And since he keeps on putting a guy out of Herman Moore, someone's got to be open on the seam. And we hit him. So we get the walk-off TD. So again, the Dolphins was pleasantly solid. Pleasantly solid. I was surprised. And um, it answered my biggest question going into this game is, will I, will I have answers for Dollar Cross Man? And I did, so I'm going to put the Dolphins playbook right above the Chargers. I had, it, I had it originally right above the Cowboys at 19, but I thought that was too low. I think it's a top 15 playbook. It's solid, not great. It doesn't belong in that 20 to 32 range either, I don't think. I think... You know, the bottom part of the top 15 is fitting for it. Solid book. It's If the zone read game was more viable, I'd put it a couple of notches higher. But it's really tough to run the zone read this year. But it gives you that spread flavor. And it has underneath formations or, you know, power run formations that you can go to under center if you need to do it. I didn't have to do that game, but you do have it there. So I think it gives you a solid passing game, good ways to attack um, what you see online, and you can definitely do some good things out of it. So that's the fish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.